So far, looking to go a little bit early over towards A. Yeah, they can play presence as well. Zantara is caught completely off guard. And now they try to come in through lobby. Spit this one through the jewelies. Oh, they don't do anything. It's a more to pick up two. And now Wolfie. He's wondering where on earth is his team gone? In towards main. There's players everywhere on the side of Eternal Fire. They swing through Calyx labored USP spray, but Eternal Fire pick up the first round. They're going to be met with Zantaras momentarily. They could be able to clean up it. It's all about the peak. Waiting for it. Boss one, the second, not able to connect. Trade comes through from Flash, and of course, now this B site looking a little bit vulnerable. Yep, they explode now. Next felt he's going to do it all with the MP9, but Dafu, the Famas, is a bit better. Manx lets one slip by through secret. Bomb manages to go down. A weapon upgrade for Emor. 3v3. Woksik makes his way through secret. Maybe joins his teammate through single here to work together. And Manx is on the fast flank. But he needs to be a little bit quicker. Eternal Fire. They want to make this execute right here, right now. And Manx. Here we go then. Oh, the head duck from Woksik. But he swings back up. And Emor and Calyx. There might not be any time left. Kit retrieved. Has to check every single corner now. And as soon as this clock whittles oh, down, Manx swings through. And he could get one more here. Emor shuts him down, but not around. Ecstatic tie it back up straight away. That is a brilliant post pawn as well. You know, you speak about some of these post pawn positions. It's, it's, like, it's like fantasy, essentially. You know, like fantasy is, football. Yeah. It's kind of thing. I've seen with CSGO. Pretty good stuff. Outside control. Take him. Santara's missed a couple of shots and x file dies straight away. So the man advantage already gained for Ecstatic and they don't have much control now. Yeah, it's a dominant start once again. Ecstatic are really in the driving seat. And the real problematic thing for Eternal Fire is lose this round and they're back to a broken economy once again. Just going to play it slow. Meanwhile, Calyx has a bit more information. Whether he overstays his welcome is a different story. And you can see these CTs now start to try and push through. Dafu looking the wrong way, but Emor decides to go back. The fight is pivotal and Calyx wins it. And now they turn to try and trade. They do. Manx keeps them at advantage for the side of Ecstatic. And now Bird from Sky. He's dropped down from main from the skies. And Tares, he just spots it. But Manx yet again. This man is so pivotal in keeping these man advantages. Woxit could catch them off guard. This pinch, it looks pivotal. It looks deadly. And Walksy has got the timing. Oh, Manx tries to swing around. Walksy wanted to play the trigger discipline. But a 2v2. What have they got to work with? Nothing. Oh. Tries to drop down vent. Basher. Oh, that's a laboured spray, but a 1v1. Walksy in secret. And now his position's noted. He can just hold this angle. Eternal fire. Take their second. But they could easily smoke him off as well. So... Ecstatic, just waiting for someone to play around with the smokes. When well, it's going to be Zantaris, bird from sky, caught from above. Or from below, rather. And now they make their way through. Wartzik, nice clean headshot, uncontested utility-wise. But the bomb's down towards secret. It's going to be difficult. Wolfie, he slipped by the mark as well. This is all about timing now. It is. Orb as well. Maneuvering his way forward. Very, very slow in the tempo. 20, just over 25 seconds to work with. And Manx needs to be very careful as he's waiting for an opportunity onto x Flower. Bit of a head glitch. And x Flower just going to fall away. Rightly done so. For the rotation coming forward from Woxic. Spotting out one. Dinking down Manx. What? Nine points. Like speed with Daffy Wolfie onto him. One apiece. Now they can make this work in their favor. The sound cue would have been heard until it was Antares overextending. That's going to be an easy picking for Wolfie. It's brilliant stuff. And Ecstatic, they've completely turned this around. Eternal Fire. They're still in elevator positions. They could still go for this. Wolfie's holding the angle as they cross towards ramp and towards the site. And Calyx has been heard. They're going to turn towards him. He swings round for one with the Famas, but Dafu's got the trade. And Wolfie, they know where he is. Shoulder spotted, but Woxie can't quite get it. And now he's got to play with the sound. Play with the doors. And so are ecstatic. They're going to try and do the same. But time is running out. Wolfie finishes it. But even over towards lobby, right? A lobby crunch coming through can very much work in their favor. Plus, give them the information necessary to make a call off the back of it. Look at this fast play. Manx. Oh, oh that's no. a perfect flash from Dafu. Assists and Manx gets two. Calyx caught out with the smoke in his hand. Eternal fire. They're done. They save. Wow. As soon as we talk about Eternal Fire changing the pace, Ecstatic do the exact same thing and catch Eternal Fire off guard. 
this is really well played. I'm very impressed with how excited I've come out in towards Nuke. They're making a statement early doors. And uh, on a map like Nuke, of course, which is their map pick, they want to get off to that strong start because they're heading into Inferno next. A map which, well, we'll see how this one plays out now, of course. Pull by coming through back once again to turn off fire. But they're four rounds behind. Not the good position to be in. But I say this, I was like this one, but quickly wow. traded out by Fasher. So they know Bird from Sky likes to get up towards main. That's their first counter. Eamor struggling with nades and they drop down towards vent. The bomb's still towards outside. They're going to try and maybe hit this B split. And Wolfie. He's outside with Woxic. One of these Orpers doesn't have one to hand. Still. Just trying to take over towards outside. The aggression not shown there from Eternal Fire. x -Flowed. He's stuck on B. Warsick needs to swing around and get this to at least shut Ooh. the bomb down. He does. This round has just swung wide open. Because now with a man advantage, Eternal Fire, they know the bomb's outside. They can pretty much play for every situation now. Because you've got to assume that someone's down secret now. You've got to assume that there's still probably one towards outside. And they do. Warsick holds down this line. The next player from secret grabs the bomb. They're both regrouping together now. The question is... How do they want to play it? We see, of course, Manks opening in towards double door. Man advantage significantly for the CD side. And oh, X-Files fumbled it massively. They've given away an entry. Bomb's going to go down. At the very least, that's a silver lining. Yep. So Eternal Fire, they can go for this retake. Manx and Fasher opting to play together. The same way they did a few rounds pre previous. And Kalix swings. Oh, it's a mess. They start to spray. Emor left alone. Both these players... Low HP. That's his saving grace into this round. Toying with the doors. Ecstatic make it work somehow. Advantage. And it's going to be another fast round from Ecstatic. Maybe. More or slow them down. But Moxie gets a nice kill. Okay. So, so the point I was making beforehand is that they shut down Bird from Sky outside fairly frequently. Yeah. And it's a round. It's x -Flow. He can't quite get the shot. That Molly stops his, his fallback. But he doesn't even... He can't. He's dead to rights. So, Ecstatic just stall this one now. Wait for Eternal Fire to rotate and see if they can get any more. Question is, how do they want to play it? Already spoke about it. Am I advantage? This time, not the case, though. Four versus four. Birth and Sky are taking quite the significant amount of damage. But not going to opt for the, uh, you know, we speak about Bogdan's Law in that sense. Not going to opt for it this time. The double orb setups come out for Eternal Fire. And I mentioned they had the ability to do so. It's a more and Woxic this time. And more could be gifted a freebie here, depending on how they want to play it. Wow. It's very smart. Wolfie, does he risk it? Oh, he's very close to risking it entirely. But they're going to sneak away. No information gained for Eternal Fire. As outside is going to be the uh, the point of call. And it's free. Yeah. Right right now, Woxic isn't even turned towards them. He's expecting, or he's given the possibility for Ecstatic to rotate out. The problem is, though, Bird from Sky gets taken down, and there's still Manx left in lobby to try and make something work of this. So they could go towards A for a split. The bomb certainly looks to do so, but a double aggression, it's Manx to be tested. And more, the no scope works. And well, Dafu. What have you got to do? Oh, Turns no. away at the wrong time. Flustered shot. And more. That could have been the round winning kill. Round winning blow. And well, Calix, he swings through to do just the same with a double spray down. Eternal fire. Ecstatic. They can just start to do whatever they want with the map. There's inner control here for eternal fire. Dafu's holding the line. Oh. He was by her. Calix rips his head off. And uh, leaves him now in a bit of a tough situation. Of course, we're seeing... Bethlehem Sky guy's still from above. Doesn't want to give too much of a sound cue away. Now we'll drop down. This may have been heard by the likes of Woxic who's posted up. It's very slow with a big difference maker. It's going to be Kalex on this flank. If he spots the bomb, that's it. Bomb's isolated as well. Uh, Wolfie has no support. So whether he finds a timing to slip down secret is a different matter. And whether Kalex just decides to go and chase this one is also the same thing. And you think you want to try and gamble towards B now. Ecstatic, they've been hitting the B bomb site on these late rounds. Pretty much every time. X Flowed. Don't miss again, my friend. You can't be whiffing this one. They've got every angle covered. Eternal Fire are ready for this one. They swing out. X Flowed finally does get the spray, but Wolfie and Fasher are chiming with two. They have ramp control. Emor's close up. Single door shut. And Wolfie wants to re-aggress. Just misses the quick scope. Has to try and help his teammates now. Calix. Oh, Wimor takes down Bird from Sky before Kalix can pull the trigger. But Fasher no. from behind doesn't amount to anything significant. 
and playing through the double doors, this might just fall apart unless Wolfie has something to say about this one. The tap on the bomb, no one's on it, and more swings out. Eternal Fire are now answering back. A very sort of slow, methodical tempo at the moment where they're just looking for a bit of information, looking for an opening kill, which for the most part has worked. Step it up, find a kill, then use that as a catalyst for a round in their favor. And that's what they've got. Now they know they've got outside control. There'll only be one sort of player at the very most posted up here. Of course, that being Zantara's. How does he want to play this? That gap in the smoke will start to appear momentarily. But he's going to fall, moving away, and this should be a round converted. Now that Ecstatic have a two-man advantage. Double it up. Gray screen. And as the smoke fades, strike and X Cloud spots them. Manx catches the uh, lobby aggression. So now they're split of the resources on the side of Eternal Fire. And they can just surround the lone man on the A bomb site. Good enough for one, but that's not going to be enough. They've only got this one orb saved across, and their economy's going to be pretty poor, right? They're not in a stable state at all. And the more he struggles to keep oh. hold of it, Fasha definitely got scared there. You know for a fact he had knife out. He was under the half and guarantee a fifth, right? That yeah. seems like the better play for me, but not going to be the case. Lose this round and they are stuck at a sort of 11 4 scoreline. Trying to make their way down, though. Manx is going to fall, and we spoke about how important Manx is. With him now out of the equation, this could actually work for a static. Yeah, and the bomb's down fast, but so is Antares. He's even faster! Two quick kills on the B bomb site. Bomb is dropped. Forget what we were talking about, having a, having a good bite into the fifth. They're going to have a fifth round right here, right now. And it might even be flawless. Bird from Sky. He's thinking where one of his teammates are gone. They just push lobby. Yeah. Uh, it, either, it either works out well for one and you get the info, or you either die and get the info, and then you can rotate around. So... Strange, but I mean, Bird from Sky throws out the orb. Good play by him. He knows he's going to die. Gets one before he goes down, but Eternal Fire. So they get their fifth right here, right now. We didn't expect this one. Ecstatic. Mm. Final round, 9-5 to five on the scoreline. It is probably looking like this one's going to be a 9-6, in fact. Eternal Fire actually made this an even half when it probably shouldn't have been. Yeah, and this time they're taking outside aggression. I love this from Centaurus. He's got no one on his right-hand side to feasibly contest. And as he contests one, Bird from Sky trades it. So the smoke slot walks it out of a trade straight away. And Manx is this key player in ramp. They've got the bomb down towards secret. They're going to try and go for a B split here. That's all they can really do with the advanced position they have. Yeah, it's more. in a position crisis. Yeah, look at oh, this. Never mind. No, he He's fell. not. Hold that position for two more seconds. And he gets himself a double kill there with him before being traded. But instead, <laughs> no way. That wasn't a jumping shot. Surely He's not. so good. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Bar. Surely that wasn't a jumping shot. No way. <laughs> that wasn't Flash jumping across. That would be like what we saw from Lucky just yesterday. And why round from Ecstatic? Yep. Eternal Fire. They want to go fast here. It's telegraphed by the X-Ray. And Fasher starts off with one quick headshot. Oh, he's going to be surrounded. He gets another as a more tries to trade through. But that flash is so perfect from Bird from Sky. From Heaven. Tries to help. He does so. It's Antara's left. Can't adjust. Uh, Bird from Sky is going to try and play around these smokes. I think they have too much disrespect now on the side of Ecstatic. But they don't really care what Eternal Fire is going to throw. Oh. Bird from Sky can read this nicely. Hasn't wow. been cleared. Bird from Sky should be able to find one. It's Fasher, in fact, doubling down. Bird from Sky from behind. Cleans up the trade until the X-File, leaving in the three versus two. And Vortic unable to trade. Bird from what? Sky making one more in the 180. Ecstatic fine 14. They convert the bonus round and keep the orb taken across. Already. A couple of engagements towards our side. The default for Ecstatic, and uh, this time Eternal Fire trying to make it work in their favor. But Darfu, the second he spots it, just a foot of some size to get enough. And Fasher delivers. We spoke about, we've heralded and praised his rifling ability, and we've seen exactly why. But Daffy trying to make his own come to life, and he does find one. Make oh. that two. Brilliant. One by one, just picking them apart. They fall like dominoes. <laughs> the trade comes through from a more, but it makes absolutely zero difference. That's 15 collected. Yeah, it's just coming up clutch. From the side of Eternal Fire, it's not great. Here's their last ditch effort to try and get towards his A bomb site. And Daffy's up above. I don't think he's been checked. He does now as the white screen fades. Both of these players, Kallax is flash perfect. They have some life in them right now. And Manx wants to stop it. They have money. They can go for this one. But maybe Wolfie just wants to save this orb. Don't give it away. Because the money on Eternal Fire is still not great. But they can upgrade a weapon here. And Wolfie, he's got to save for his life here. T side that made them look a little bit more comfortable than what we've seen so far. It does give a bit of an opportunity to work with. But... No. I thought we really needed a consolation. <laughs>
Crashed outside play here for eternal fire. These nades are perfect. Calyx is already down. And Walk 6 on 56. And Moore's just losing HP as well. Numbers are dwindling on the side of eternal fire. So now ecstatic. They put themselves in a position where eternal fire, they can walk into them. But it, I don't think it will matter. No, I don't think it will. Already, man advantage for the CT side. And Wolfie looking aggressive as He's well. He's got they, this angle. They won't even think to clear it that much. They might jiggle peek it. Look in fact. This. Oh, oh well, hey, he's full out. He didn't even care. That's trigger discipline. That's really cool. I don't think they'll expect him here if they do decide to go back lobby. And you can see, right, they, they, they're really confused on where to go. X-Files going to head the charge. Whether they head the charge into this orb scope is a different matter. And he might have to get away his way over towards Hut the way he did getting back. Just speed. Get your Jordans on. And Wolfie goes away at the wrong time. What is that timing? That's tough. That is brutal. That's the worst way to go away. And of course, they might get a bit of a misinformation that it could be heading to B. Bring up the utility. Oh, Dafu. Dafu. We've seen him here before. Fighting himself. One looking for the second before the Molotov takes him out. He's not able to do so. But of course, from above, Burford Sky comes in for support. They drop down. This is their only insurance policy here, but the bomb is nowhere to be seen. It's Fasher. He finishes it off in double st uh, fashion. Perfect style. Eternal fire. Very slow, this T-side take here. A little bit of a crossfire set up as well. Just taking contact at this point. That, that's all it is. Flash lined up. Oh, that might be perfect. Antares turns for it. And Bird from Sky needs to swing out from new box. Players start to surround. Players stuck on dark as well. Fasher opens up with oh, two. Easy. Bird from Sky chimes in. There's three in the kill feed. <laughs> a labor tap, but it works. A Jesus. Flawless pistol round from Ecstatic. Wow. And more force forward from the Molotov down towards mid. And he's force forward yet again. I don't think he wants to be up here. It's good util usage from Ecstatic because this money just forces him in, but it doesn't even matter. And more oh, past no. the smoke, runs out of AK bullets, the pistol's out, has to fall back and pass the grey screen to safety. How is he alive? How? I don't know. How is he possibly staying alive there? Two people firing down on them and through the smoke he manages to just vanish away. But I'm just going to just monitor in close. Just trying to regain top car control. The Wolfie seems like it'll be the next test. Smoke out towards long. No one's there, however. It's only one player to come up with transition now when we transitions into a oh. frag and more. Well, 2 HP doesn't stop him from getting two frags in the round. And now Max has to play through this smoke. Calyx expects. You can you can see Bird from Skies just jump in CT. I, I think they're more or less expecting the eight bomb site hit here. Yeah. Eternal Fire taking it slow. I mean, you can tell they're feeling a little bit like almost anxious here. That yeah. there's someone still on this bomb site for ecstatic, but Eternal Fire, they get the bomb down, they get their first round on the board. And the Turkish tied deliver. First round collected, bomb goes off. And uh, four remain alive. Not the end of the world. Centaurus to lead the charge, and through the smoke they go. A bit like Luster. No one really cares about it. And they're going to go through towards Arch, so a wraparound it is looking likely here as Dafu sprays through Arch. And more taken down. That's Santara's isolated. And Dapu repositions. Head spotted by Max. Max oh, takes down easy. one more. The second as well. It's beautiful. One from Apps. Has to adjust, but he's blind. Calix, how has he missed that? Wolfie comes in to help his teammate. Eternal fire fall apart. That is a. But he's still, still got two players to face. And these two players are cautious of an Apps push. There's no one there. And Max. They surely should have communicated no. that because Max somehow doubles up again. Manx again being given way too much freedom to work with there. How is he being given the opportunity the to get away with that? Yeah, it never should have happened. He's picked up two. Calyx on low HP. And again, this looks like he's primed and ready to be a fifth round over towards Ecstatic. Unless Eternal Fire with three remaining. But you can essentially say 2.5. I've got not a lot to work with. Exactly that. Calyx has hardly any HP to work with. Eight to his name. Util... They have three smokes, but whether they get to use one of them is a different matter because the low HP player is down. And still four, four or five players remain. Ooh. Rotate, trying to be cut off, but a more gives themselves a little bit more space into this round. More space, but still 30 seconds to work with. I don't think it's enough time, really. They don't have any sort of conclusive evidence of how the CT side are set up, and I, I think their number is already essentially up, really. There's surely no way they're going to be able to turn this one round in their favour. Oh, and the nade makes all the difference as well. Walk sick no more. 
just shreds of them left. Yep, unless they try to enter through, it's Daku to hold the line. I don't think there's anything else more can do apart from maybe try and die before the time ends. Not sure try and play around him. Bomb doesn't go down. Maneuvered around, I think it's safe to say. Yep. Especially the fact that all it takes is one essentially bit of a whole W play for them to be caught off guard. Oh, look at this flash, he's doubling it down. Tries to go aggressive and Amora just punishes him. This guy needs to trade her. He gets it. He can now slip back and Kalix Ooh. risks his life just for the trade. Just for the mad advantage. And they have it. Albeit on 9 HP, but it's still something to work with her. It's better than nothing, is how you'd say it. But the question is how do they want to play this now? We look over towards the ecstatic. Three remaining alive. One of which, of course, being that AWP of Wolfie. And one is Manx as well. Very true. And those two being monumental so far. So noise cut. Eternal fire. Ready and waiting. Smoto smoke comes through. They're gonna start to explode here. That Molotov could be toxic flash out from apps. They drop down and Manx's head Manx's head is gonna be on the Dafu's gonna realise that they're already out. X Cloud, nice for one, and Manx can't get the spray. It's Antares to finish. Yeah, spot on. Absolutely spot on. We'll see how it plays out nonetheless. Ooh. But big nade coming through. It's chunky that one. And they can make their way through short as well. Dafu. Oh, the flash is good. And Wolfie swings out for one. And they're all just trying to contest him. Everyone is completely blind on the side of eternal fire. But two kills come back. They're still aware of this orper in apps. And bird from sky spray through the grey screen. Valiant's a little bit of damage. And that Molotov's perfect. Has to force them oh. out. Kalex's angle is even better. But it's still doable. Ecstatic. Low HP P, sorry, on every eternal fire player. And here it comes. Kalix. He's elevated. He's up close and personal. And he's caught off guard. It's only Zantara's to hold the lines now. Both of these players on the CT side, they have a kit. The time's going down. Zantara swings through from the sound cue from Wolfie, who tries to get information. And Bird from Sky. He's being toyed with. No. Zantara's with the 1v2. Zantara's has managed to pull off something from nothing there with such a slither of health. What's concerning me as well is we need to see Walkstick activate. He's on the same right now. We haven't actually seen him in the server. Whether we need to see him activate right now is a different story. Is Eternal Fire just forced their way at mid? Oh, banana, sorry, quite frankly. And Flash is down. No trade potential on the side of Ecstatic. And they're just going to keep going forward. Briefly off the angle, but returns Ooh. to get his head blown off by a more. That's the B-bomb site there's. No contestion. A slight X Cloud though. Hello, X Cloud. The tab out. What happened there? He looked at him for about a minute and then didn't take the shot. And of course, gives away now. Three kill over towards Ecstatic. It's two versus four. Still very much in the hands of Eternal Fire. It's not the end of the world. That A side completely. Uh, well, it's going to be locked out. They're just going to play the post one. Uh, not the post one, sorry. The, the save game here. That's the open. I think it's starting to double swing this. Whether they do is a different story. Oh, Zafu. Down to 9 HP. That's it for this round, most likely. They get one. They get one. Yeah. Constellation kill. Silver lining. Eternal fire. And this is just round to the pace and it's starting to wake up. This looks like an ecstatic side to start to fall apart. And jumping. Fashion court of God. That should never have happened. And this double shouldn't even be possible. It's Dafu to get one trade. Needs one more to make it equal. And that all of Walksick is just overstepping the mark a little bit. I don't understand why he did that. Over-aggression. Definitely not needed there as well. Gives away a free kill. Walksick's had a poor game today, unfortunately to say. And uh, he's had to be relied upon at times when he couldn't be. Flashman coming through. Wolfie waiting. Kalex seems very aware, especially in that Molotov coming forward in towards Cubby. He heard the sound cue as well. All the Bobshots coming through, but it's going to be Manx who asks for one, but only one. Big coming forward. Daffy looking to put down, but unable to do so. Back to the one versus one. Wolfie versus Antares. Two of the top performers from each of these sides. Antares with a slither of health to work with, though, as he just maneuvers his way back over towards Graveyard. And with one foot in the grave, he is trying to set up this post plan. HP. Wolfie. Oh, no. Straight by, but the adjustments there. If Zantaris had more HP, that would have been so winnable. It would have been his round. It's not. Not at all. The utility wide is not looking great for them. For example, they're just relying on the aim jewels and, of course, the crossfires and maybe a bit of individual brilliance from Max. What a wall. Look at double it down. Won't be able to. Quick J comes through. Zafu. It's going to be a shooting gallery for him, but only the one suffices. 
And now Wolfie up towards sight. He's been so pivotal with the orb, but can he rifle? He's only good for one. And still it's a 2v2. But both of these players now coming in from Banana. Eternal Fire. They've got to expect this one. It's almost, it's almost a done deal now. If Ecstatic can just push this one fast enough. Force the issue. Warksick isn't in a way to trade here on the side of Calyx right now. And the arm spotted. The MP9 comes to fruition, but the AK is even better. A 1v1 ensues. And well, there's no... Oh, no. So it's not planned for Warksick. Warksick can machine. just stick this. What no, Warksick, go for it. You need to be sticking the bomb. It's defused. Oh, no. They've stolen it away and he dies for his troubles as well. God, oh, that is just a tough, tough round to watch. Three banana as well. They want to shut down the banana, but the more. All right then, can he escape with his life? That nade is surely about to say no. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh. Got a little bit close for comfort. Nearly found a second. Fashi does, in fact. Run of is collected, and of course, it's Antares, who has been one of the best players in the server, and Woksik, who must have been the worst to rely on. But Antares finds one more for his troubles, and Woksik falls. Unfortunately, to say, it's slightly as expected. And it's down to a 1 versus 2 now, and of course, Antares already taking quite a significant amount of damage. Smoking towards CT now, of course, the rotation will be called. And the spam trying to catch off Santoro. Sound cues her. He's trying to get the bomb down. He tagged oh. and Zafu's played that perfectly. Yeah. Uh, Morphe's holding this line down. Wuxik's going to make close contact. He might lose a lot lose a lot of utility here as well. Crucial. Oh, the guns. Shooting a bit too early. Wuxik tries to get him as, as he goes through the smoke. But Zafu's going to be tested. The first low player downs and Taris trades. Still, equal round so far. Vor v vor. So much use to work with for Eternal Fire. Wolfie's tunnel visioning, in, tunnel visioning in on towards that short position. He's be careful in towards apartments, though. Long is also, of course, compromised. The Flash is holding there and waiting. Looking to try and catch a little bit of damage through the smoke. Not going to be the case. As Bird from Sky comes in for support. They're waiting for this pincer back on towards A. And Wolfie might have run into this nicely. Spots out one. That's information gained at the very least. The second he peeks out, he's going to deliver a brilliant shot. They have to come through now. Oh, Wolfie blind. Calyx is falling apart if you're on the side of Ecstatic. And Fasher's dinked down. Bird from Sky manages to get one before he loses his life. But a 1v2. Yet again, Calyx as he tries to come through the smoke. It's eternal fire to take the seventh. Ecstatic, one round ahead. It would also just accelerate them into, into post possibly a 3 of an advantage as well. Mm -hmm. I like the setup though from Eternal Fire. Still wary of mid. They're still aggressing towards it. And while Calyx gets a nice shot off and fades away. I like the uh, the option not to overextend as well. But slightly question mark here from Ecstatic. They're not be very confident in their pissed rounds here. But they're playing very slow in their tempo. They are. They have Utah to work with as well. Two smokes. I, I assume they're going to execute B. There goes the CT smoke. Coffin smoke maybe to follow shoot. And Moxic takes contact. That's going to just keep the rotator out of B for now. But as soon as this last smoke comes through, it's a more. He's boosted. He needs to really do the dirty work now because Kalex has to fall back. Wolfie manages to trade out his teammate. Still a man advantage here on the side of Eternal Fire. And Kalex looks to play with the idea of disrespecting the smoke. But he's been disrespected, Zantares. Wolfie, pistol, headshot straight through that grey screen. And now they're taking more position off of this. The post one's set up to a degree, but Wolfie half HP could be problematic. The double stack into his coffins. Even if Calyx finds one, the quick trade should come through. Jumping finds one, but again, there's that quick trade that we spoke about. Now Wolfie himself needs to reposition in towards water. He's going for it, falling away. This is brilliantly done. Wolfie's managed to completely maneuver himself away. He's tapping away, though. X-File, no way he sticks this. Down what? he drops. One more spot over towards the back side of the fountain, and Wolfie finds the last. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're sick of the sight of this square at the moment. They've been back to it for many around now. And Warksick, well, he hasn't been hitting much, has he? It's and that timing as well. It just sort of feels like that when we watch Warksick, his play, how he's playing or how the play goes for him is indicative of his scoreline. It just doesn't look pretty. <laughs> oh, that's pretty, okay, though. Okay, okay. <laughs> A jumping shot. Kalex finds a trade. Looking to the down, won't be able to. Again, Dafu, Stefano. Dafu has really impressed me heading into the Inferno. He's got a lot of impact frags. Agreed. Agreed. Dafu is... I mean, we had the difference maker of Manx. 
you know, beforehand. Now it's Dapu coming through. That flash is really nice, but Zantara's blind himself. Birth from Sky. Nice flash to assist his teammate in getting the trade. And Walksy comes through. He's been red perfectly. I feel sorry for the bloke. Not gonna uh. lie to you. It just doesn't look like he's having a game. He would. I think I think Eternal Fire don't have the, the overpass factor here to, to bring this competitive series. And Walk Six bringing his other one around as well. So, this is crucial now. And more, he needed to win that fight. He does so. And now the game is given up. Two orbs in this round. Ecstatic. You've got to break past it. Question is, can they? Wolfie holding, waiting. Doesn't got the opportunity to work with. It's a five versus three here. And for Ecstatic, they're just going to have to essentially just win their aim duels. That's all that's going to be the difference maker here. Smokes come through. Execute on its way. Dapu gets one. Manx nearly catches the second, but it is traded out. A 2v3. And now the bomb can go down. Wuxik, don't make the mistake of the previous round. Don't contest this one. That nade is good, though. Unconfirmed damage, however. Wolfie needs a shot to land. He could get one. They're still stuck isolated towards the bar, uh, far end of CT. Nade. Molotov, rather. Forces him out of position. So does the flash, just to blind him a slight amount. And this all cool. crucial. Wolfie misses yet again. Can't fall back, but Woxic needs no. that one. And a 1v2. Sure. Make it a 1v1. Above. Zantaras needs no. to drop down. Wolfie the no scope. Three <laughs> quick kills. What on earth is that? What is that from Wolfie? Individual <laughs> prowess of the highest regard, but that is just ridiculous. He shouldn't and have got this first kill. Yeah, we talk about isolation of fights, and this is a prime perfect example. Wolfie. What a round for the ages. One to really lock away in that highlight reel. Because that is something special. 14 to 7 and a turn of fire. They've dropped the ball. But uh, Woxy answers back immediately. Wolfie Force. Yep. You kind of need that if you're on the side of Eternal Fire. Break that momentum that Wolfie's going to build up from that 1v3 clutch. That's incredible. It is. Absolutely. Execute lined up. Calyx misses. Flash is a too powerful man. Bird from Sky. About 100 enemies flash you'd like to feel like. Eternal Fire certainly feel like it's been happening. Gap in the CT smoke doesn't amount to anything. It looks like Eternal Fire coming in for this retake. They're not deciding to save this one. No, not the case. Postpone set up. They're going for the attempt to retake. x though is going to be the real early test. See what he can find with it as he starts to try and make his way forward. Because of utility, and opts to not use any of it. Smoke, nade, flash, molly, and no uses not one of them. Just like that, giving away a man advantage. As the post bomb looking successful, and they're going to fall away. It's I tough think, to watch. Yeah, it is. I, I think x Flower's going to have that element of surprise. That, that contact there, they're not even going to survive with the orb. Yeah. Wow. The Glock. What is, what, oh, what is happening? Nico, what's it. happening, man? It, this is it. This is it. It's done mustard. <laughs> what's going oh. on? Walksick has given them the opportunity to get a round win, and then the rest of his team fall apart. And Moore's going to try and do the same thing, but yet again trade it out. One player left over here towards the banana. He needs to leave that. He needs to get the bomb because his teammates are so far up towards A. Oh. And Zantares, well, he loses a load of position, including his life. And that smoke from birds from Sky and more. That was frisky. x Cloud swings. Just catches Manx off guard with an aid in his hand. And as soon as that happens, Dafu swings out from apps. They have bomb control. But they don't have the man advantage as Wolfie slows this one down. It's a more thrust into a 1v2. They know exactly where he was as well. They just killed earlier. Bird from Sky over towards Banana. So they're going to be understanding that he's either going for the aggression, aggressive pu push in towards Banana. But now they've got the bomb. They know he's gone for that full rotation over towards A. They know they can full send B. And that Moore's going to be nowhere to be seen. Because he's not like not like he's going to stick around into his top B. Especially off the back of those kills. They know that B site is completely there. So they're taking. Up them go. Smoke in towards CT. Cross comes through. Molotov in towards Church. And this should be a very comfortable post barn set up. Ecstatic. They've looked just like the namesake. That they really have. Yeah, they have. They've, been, they've played Stunning. solid Counter Strike here. And it's been explosive. But it's also been calculated. Their CT side, they just wait. They wait. And even if it looks like they're playing into the execute, they somehow just get magic done. Eternal Fire. They have had no answer into this one. But it's a more. If there's ever a time to step up, step up right now, you need to. 
and they're playing new box and dark. Jumping over, they That's double it. swing. Ecstatic 2-0 here to send themselves to the upper bracket.